we are leaving Klein Curacao, the island where we've been for two days. It's been a little bit rolly here, so it'll be a, a welcome break from the rolling, but it is absolutely sunny here, so we'll miss it. <laughs> Did it add another knot? What are we doing? Seven, seven and a half? Seven. Wow, how far we've got already in comparison to the other night. Yeah. Yeah, down downwind's a bit a bit more roly, but it's uh, it's good today. So this is the Equus Zingaro Fishing Challenge. Fish off. <laughs> I've got two options here, people. Which one should I pick? We've got the Disco Queen or the Mighty Rapala. I, th I think the Disco, look, you can see fish have already taken some bites out they, of him. So like they like him, huh? He is very pretty. They like the strawberry, uh, strawberry what, squid. What you, you think, what's the girl's about? Disco. 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 <laughs> the women have spoken. Okay, let's see if they're right. I'm going I'd for a I'm little uh, you, got an extra green number on my rod. Who's winning today, guys? Huh? Who's winning? Who's gonna win? Yeah. What do you reckon? Whoa. <laughs> we'll see, James did have a really big bite on the way here. So, big bite, I caught a fish. But, uh, swivel, actually bro. there was two. There's no price for almost catching. <laughs> Silence is golden, right? <laughs> it was this big. Have you still got him? No. Oh. Yeah, out of my hands. Oh wow, I wonder what it was. Oh, See, the pink one, the Disco Queen, is a popular lure. Yeah. That's too bad. You gotta keep tension on this, that's the problem. The, the, hook, the hook doesn't have enough. Uh, do, do we have any more hooks? Keep tension on it. Yeah, it's gotta be the same guy. Oh, oh my gosh, what is that? No, oh my god, it's massive. It's huge. Oh my god, it's absolutely massive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, get some gloves. Oh my god, get some gloves. Okay, okay, we got it. We got to um, turn the boat. How do I take this off? Get some gloves, um, baby. Hold on, I'm not gonna be. Hold on, I'm out of line. I'm gonna be careful. Too tight. Another one. I get a knife. Do you want a glove? Do you want a glove? No, I might have to cut the line. It's a marlin. Oh my god. Where's the other line? Should we? Oh, it's in. Okay, good. I think it's gone. Did you get it on? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, Is he gone? I think it's gone. No, it's definitely gone. Yeah. Wow, that is fucking oh, crazy. Dude. I thought it was a dolphin at first, though. <laughs> yeah. No, it's smiling. It's big as well, wasn't it? Did you see it come out of the water? Yeah. Wow. I think I got it on camera. You still have your I thought we were going to lose the rod then. Here, yeah. look, man. Wow, you just ripped it right off. Oh, oh wow. No. So that doesn't count either, James. Sorry, you didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> My fish was bigger than yours, though. <laughs> I think actually it was James's first and then uh -huh. it was yours. <laughs> Shit, man, we're getting through lures. Oh, that man. That sucks. Yeah. Ugh. 
Yeah, wow. the boat Let's see if he was on here. So it's all even at the moment, two bikes each. Um, we hope we got the, the marlin on camera. I'm not sure, but we'll hopefully sure we, we did. did. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, but it just goes to show you fish for ages and then you get two fish like within a minute of each other. So everything to play for still, James? Uh, you know, the first fish that we lost was a big mahi and that was probably the biggest marlin I've ever seen on a, hooked on a sailboat. That thing was, <laughs> I don't know. Big fish. Yeah, I mean, we probably wouldn't have been able to land it even if we had managed to reel it in. It was, it was um, bigger than all four of us combined, for but sure. But yeah, all the line went out on the reel. I thought I was going to lose the rod, so in a way, it's good that, that it, it Dude, snapped line. Had we gotten that fish in, <laughs> oh man, I would have freaked out. <laughs> So he backed down on it like three quarters of the way. It didn't move at all. So we're good. So next stop, the blue room. Is it the blue room or the blue cave? Oh. <laughs> 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 Exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Your glasses. <laughs> Your mask you made. <laughs> do you not think you were going to do it? No. It was good going. though. And I saw you go and I thought, well, you're going, I've got to go. I'm going to look. I go see where James was. He was like searching it back there and he came out right as I came in and I screamed underwater because he's going to be so bad. And then you choked on the water. <laughs> So we're going to go and try and find this wreck that they were telling us about. It's near, it's near to the yacht, so yeah. hopefully it'll be easy to find. Okay, we're just going to 
just about to find a wreck. Trying. Oh, we're pretty, we're a little bit further out, so. Go in a bit. That's the wreck there. Oh, yeah, I'll be right on it. Yep. Excellent, how deep is it? Probably like uh, seven meters. Do you reckon we can chuck the anchor out? Yeah, right here. Yep. Sorry. What sort of knot are you going to tie us on with, James? So if you're tying two anchor lines together yeah this is um the knot that you use to make a fish okay yeah and uh one the tail of the fish is on top yeah and then on the other line the tail of the fish is on bottom yeah and i call it the kissy fish knot okay <laughs> you, <the> kiss, <laughs> you put the one that's on bottom on bottom one that's on top on top and then the one that's on bottom goes through the top and the one that's on top goes through Okay. It takes a minute to get this knot because you have to pull from both sides. But that'll make wow. a knot that doesn't um, get. You can always pull it out because it's got. Five okay. So you'd use oh. that rather than just two bowlines tied together. This is a better knot. This is the. Is knot it really that's supposed to be? Oh wow. Okay. Two, for two anchor lines, this is the knot that's supposed to be. Okay. Good work. Good work. <laughs> Hello. Oh, very nice. You do? Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, some good life. All right. Do you want me to go and get some money for some beer? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll give you credit. You sure? Later. Okay, cool. Oh, that's nice, thank you. Oh, that's nice, How cool is this place, eh? Wow, oh, it's wicked. Catch some good life. Oh, yeah, stalk. Oh, is there? Hey man, look up there. This is sweet. Look, we've got some kickboxing going on, some boxing. Oh no. <laughs> Is that me? So I'm a far best way I made a promise. And I started building 
Like, in memory of Eric Gobert Trudy, he died in 1998. I'm his son, Henry Gobert Trudy, who's his promise to create a Trudy's empire. Oh, wow. So we are the Kicking yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not especially not with COVID at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, it's very difficult. Yeah. New kayaks, new beer. Yeah. New bouncers. So it's my daughter Isabella. Hey Isabella, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers to you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a nice guy. We didn't have any uh, money with us because obviously we'd just been to the cave and we'd just been uh, stalking and have our wallets. And he said, oh, no problem. I give you credit. You pay us. You pay us tomorrow. So really nice guy. Captain Goodlife's energy, positivity and outlook on life captured our spirits from the moment we met him. He transpired from chatting with him that the ship was once his father's. It was an emotional moment when he shared the story of his daughter who died of leukemia and he created a memorial next to the ship where her ashes are buried, which we only saw on looking back at the footage. Good morning everyone. I thought I'd show you the bay that we've been staying in for the last couple of nights. It's Santa Cruz, which is on the southwest side of Curacao. And morning, Captain. Morning. Morning, Admiral. <laughs> so this is what our bay looks like. We're totally alone here. There's nobody else in the bay. The action is never ending on Equus. Now we're waiting for the boat to turn in the wind. <laughs> will this end? As it pulls back. Will this end in tragedy? No one knows. Nobody knows except for us. Shh. Will there be a sea monster that comes out of the water? It'd be cool if you could just have it so it unties itself. Yeah. yeah wouldn't that be Can great? you just make that, dude? Make that happen? That could be a new thing. Yeah. Let me up on the anchor line. You know, they make voice like activated that. headsets now. Do they? Yeah, yeah, you just talk. You don't even have to like use your oh, hands or anything. Oh, that would be great. I've seen people do the anchor with them and they're f***ing brilliant. Yeah, for Wow. I shouldn't have been up here. It would probably been easier without my help. And the rock that comes up. Lovely. Woohoo! Nicely done. Philip is the anchor master, the anchoress. <laughs> oh, I like it on it heels. <laughs> I'll leave you a hat. If I was doing this, James, there'd be no end of screaming at me. There'd be hell to pay. I'm just gonna get off it all. I'll just I can get another point two knots. I missed the main. Seven and a half knots now, guys. Perfect point of attack. Nicely done. We'll be home in no time. Yes. <laughs> Chris, <Christmas Eve. laughs> Woo! Hey, Josh! <laughs> I'm 
done it! <laughs> Yeah, you're home in no time without Christmas. <laughs> sailing, sailing home for Christmas. Next time aboard Equus, we go on a New Year's adventure with Ryan and Sophie sailing. We sail along the south side of Curacao with our friend Mike's Hans 575. And we get totally caught off guard and broach our yacht in a school.